Hello everyone and welcome to a very wet Phillip Island where Wheels is about to drive this. It's the new Lamborghini Aventador S. But before we go out and get wet, I thought we'd take a moment just to sort of walk around, drink in the details of what remains one of the most dramatic looking supercars on sale, but also talk you through some of the technical changes because they're actually quite significant. Okay, so let's start with the styling. So. The basic Aventador shape remains, but a lot of work's gone in along the front and also at the rear to make the car look lower, wider, and generally meaner. But uh, the real purpose is aerodynamics. Lamborghini says that this car produces 130% more downforce than the Aventador it replaces. Okay, so tech changes. Well, lurking in the middle here behind these beautiful glass louvers, remains Lamborghini's huge, naturally aspirated V12. But power has gone up to 544 kilowatts and 690 newton meters. There's still four wheel drive and there's still the same Lamborghini's seven speed single clutch gearbox, which was pretty jerky in the old car. But Lambo engineers say that they've done a lot of work into making it smoother and more refined, especially in the sort of everyday strata mode for city traffic. I guess the biggest technical change happens right here. It's the addition of four wheel steering. Uh, we're seeing that a lot these days, but this one is actually one of the more advanced systems. It'll turn the rear wheels up to three degrees. Uh, and Lamborghini says that at low speed, that effectively shortens the wheelbase by half a meter. And at high speed, it actually increases the wheelbase for greater stability by 700 millimeters, which sounds quite quite a lot. Okay, so what else is new? There's a uh, Revised suspension, revised pushrod suspension. Weight is about the same as the old car despite the addition of four-wheel steering. Uh, a lot of that's because of the new exhaust system, which is now a lot lighter. So there's also a new cabin, a new sort of dash, and um, why don't we get in and have a listen to that new exhaust? It's not the most glamorous thing to climb in and out of, but once you're in, foot on the brake, flick this missile switch, which hides the start-stop button, which is quite cool. And there she is, in neutral. <laughs> nice. All right, let's go out on the track. <laughs> 